Not a week went by that I didn't hear the N-word directed at me or one of my black peers. The taunting, we're rich, we're white, we're Westlake, is still haunting. I reported a guy for doing the Nazi salute. The administration took no action. Those are just three of more than 100 complaints of racism and discrimination shared by students from one of the most prestigious schools in Central Texas. Westlake High School is well known for both its academic and athletic achievements, but KXAN uncovered a history of hurtful words and bad behaviors from students on campus. Education reporter Alex Caprello found out how the school plans to ensure students of color are being heard and why these teenagers say they want more than just a promise for change. There are more than 2,700 students who attend Westlake High School, and nearly 70% of them are white. I spoke to both current and former students who tell me that far too often they felt belittled, ridiculed, and trivialized as the minority. Now in 2020, with all eyes on race relations, they're sparking their own conversation on culture and color within the school. It started as an anonymous Instagram account. Have you experienced racism at Westlake? Send it in. Has someone targeted you or made you feel uncomfortable? Send it in. I've been called the N-word probably every other day. N-word is just thrown at me like it's some sort of joke. And I started really feeling bad about myself and who I was and my culture. Some students posted videos they claim show their peers using racial slurs, like this one from last year. <laughs> For that one. Others explained how their classmates would minimize their feelings. People are told, oh, well, why can't you just take a joke or why can't you just go with it like they didn't mean any harm, so they just don't really understand unless you're going through the experience. Eanes ISD administrators are concerned an anonymous Instagram account doesn't really tell a full story. Instead, they're encouraging students to use the district-wide reporting system to share complaints. The state required all school districts to have one starting in 2017. Each time a report comes in, campus officials receive an alert and determine the best way to respond. In the two academic years since it was established, 269 reports have been submitted about Westlake High School. But the district says only nine of them were categorized as racism. Did you ever report any of the things that you saw or heard? You know, we see those things and we're like, why? What's the point? Nothing's going to be done. Nothing's going to change. So there's no point in doing it. We have a growth mindset. We always want to improve. Superintendent Dr. Tom Leonard implemented this reporting tool. He wants more students to come forward so they can decide what action needs to be taken. But some district officials admit the system has flaws. There's no way to mark that an allegation has been verified as true and appropriate discipline has been handed out. And there are several options to choose from, but none classify a complaint as racism. Do you feel like this is yeah. something that should have been done long before? Do we have things to work on? Absolutely. Are we going to address them? Absolutely. Um, but there's a lot of good in Westlake, too, and I don't want that to be forgotten. Some students of color tell us it's the normalization of these attitudes that ends up causing the most harm. Yeah, that's, that's the Westlake culture. It was so racist there that, like, that's just the culture. So they want the administration to address it. I don't think there's a culture of racism. Still, Leonard has pledged to make things better. He established a diversity coordinator position in 2017. It's a designated teacher on campus responsible for connecting with students anytime they need guidance or want to share their feelings about what they're seeing and hearing. This coordinator also trains staff to confront bad behavior. More recently, the Eanes Board of Trustees hired an outside consultant to help staff address their own biases. Dr. Mark Gooden will help adapt current district policies to ensure equity among students. We are going to take advantage of this moment in time. We are going to take advantage of this moment in time, and we can. While the students appreciate these action steps, they say they want to see consistent discipline to hold their peers accountable. I want to look back on Westlake and have it be somewhere that I was proud to be, but right now, I don't really think I can say that's the case, you know? Schools across Texas must report suspensions and expulsions to the Texas Education Agency. The TEA classifies any discipline related to racist behavior as a code of conduct violation. I combed through years of data at Westlake High School, and from 2017 to 2019, there were more than 300 code of conduct violations. However, similar to the local level, there's no specific category at the state level for tracking racism. So while we know just how many students were punished over the course of those years, we have no way to determine how much of that discipline was related 
to racist offenses. Alex Capriello, KXAN Investigates. We asked the district how it handled complaints before the reporting system was implemented in 2017. A district spokesperson said there was no formal system for tracking reports back then. Students would share their concerns in person with a guidance counselor or could leave a voicemail or an email. And you just heard some of the steps Westlake is taking to tackle the issue of racism on campus. But what about on the football field for which it's known so well? There are racial slurs thrown around a lot. I, I've heard that many, many times. I don't think they're I don't think some of my teammates are, are trying to offend anybody. It's just that it's become so normalized that they don't understand what they're saying. Tomorrow on KXAN News at 6, you'll hear from Westlake's star senior running back. He played an integral role in helping Westlake secure its second state championship last year. He'll share what it's like to be one of the few black players in the Westlake locker room. We'll also speak to Westlake's head basketball coach and diversity coordinator as he shares how the school can build students of character both on the field and in the classroom.